And here we have a student journal from Heathcote Art and Science Center. Um, and this student made it out of um, cardboard. So she took cardboard and bent the cardboard. And then she took rubber bands and folded the paper and attached the paper in, in, uh, within the cardboard binding with the rubber band. Um, so this is just an example of some of the things that she wrote about. And this is kind of um, in a diary type format. Um, she's got some really neat drawings in her, her journal. She's quite the artist. So, it's a nice example of a student journal. Here's something I wanted to show you that's very interesting within the student's journal. She used uh, dirt to draw this this path in here and I taught the students to to experiment with different clays and soils and even mashed up plant matter to use as um, as a way to color and draw in their journals so this one worked out pretty well in the next page she experimented as well So this is a journal entry by the same student. Um, I'll let you get a closer look here. This is classic me, and you probably can read this. Gloria is putting a magnifying glass in front of her eye. So that's just like what I did in my Nature Glow trailer, my debut. <laughs> Thought you'd enjoy that. This is a fun recollection of one of our nature adventures together. The students and I decided to get our blue slickers on, our blue raincoats. I don't know if you can see that very clearly, but she drew a picture of all of us wearing these blue raincoats. And we all just happened to have matching blue raincoats. So I used a little humor in the situation and called us the blue crew as we're going out in the rain looking for animal tracks. So she writes here, the blue crew, Gloria said, when we were looking for tracks in the mud because we had blue on, meaning the blue raincoats. So it's a pretty cute picture there. So next I'm going to introduce you to the three ring binder uh, or the notebook method. And this just allows versatility, more flexibility with putting in and removing papers. And this notebook is actually my Kamana notebook. I took a um, nature awareness course called Kamana 1 and 2 from Wilderness Awareness School. And so this is my field journal for that course. And... I was I chose my sit spot for that course and I did a map. These these are maps of course of Maryland where I live. Um, close up map of our community, even closer. And then finally my drawings of my actual sit spot. My my maps. And I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit here. Um, field in inventories, I did bunches of those. And my journal pages, and these are very detailed drawings of local animals in our area. This happens to be the northern short-tailed shrew poisonous bite they have, by the way. And so these are all of the common mammals in my particular area. 
So again, this is a college level type course, so it's very, very detailed. Um, so high school level students um, could have the capacity to do something like this. Or So this is my last journal that I'll introduce you to, and this actually is my most current journal that I'm using with Heathcote Art and Science Center. And so every time we meet, we have opening and closing circles, and we try to purpose to write in our journals about what we do at the end of each program day. So here I've written about experiments that we did during the program. Um, here I kind of doodled with some walnut juice. I took a, the, the green walnut and broke into the outer shell, and it was very juicy. It had rained recently, so it was very wet, and I just kind of drew and experimented with the color variations of the, um, the walnut, the black walnut. So, and here we have some math art type shapes, and some, I was experimenting with drawing with marigold petals. And that one's pretty thick with the with the flower dye and pollen as well. Some more drawings with um, I drew with a leaf here and as well as some soil. And this is a leaf rubbing with a green pencil. And this is a pattern that I drew with soil from the stream. And another black walnut picture. And this is actually a drawing I did of the black walnut. And you can see where I scooped away the, the outer covering of the nut. And then I dipped into the, the juicy part and just kind of sketched around with my finger beautiful color. Yeah, it's chicken of the woods mushrooms here. So you get the idea. It's, this one's a more of a free form type of a journal and um, for the purposes of our class with the varying age groups, um, you know, I, I, I would strongly suggest that everyone keep a field journal or nature journal. For, for each of the classes that I ask for you to keep a journal. It's, it's a very good habit to get into. Um, it gets you writing about things that you're passionate about. Hopefully if you're taking any of my classes, you're passionate about them. Um, it's very helpful to be excited about what you're learning. And um, so there's the, the more structured format. Um, a lot more specific detail as and also the diary type entry and also focus on drawings from nature with labeling and short little descriptions so those are the different journals I hope you enjoyed that thank you for listening and watching